Hi everyone, just a quick video on how to test your alternator for, for what condition it's in. Uh, if you've got any starting or charging problems, it may be the alternator that's uh, failed or is failing. So these are three quick tests you can do uh, to reel your alternator in or out. So uh, first thing, uh, the three tests we're going to do is there's a supply voltage test. There's a um, voltage uh, drop test and then there's a regulated voltage uh, test for the alternator as well. First thing I've done then is set my multimeter up against the battery. I've set it to 20 DC volts on the setting there and my battery voltage is currently 12.73 volts or thereabouts. Uh, so that's the voltage that we're going to start at. The multimeter setting is not going to change for any of these tests. It's 20 volts DC. So down here is my alternator just below the, uh, the fuel cap, uh, oil cap, sorry. And we've got the connector there for the positive side. So this lead is, lead is the one coming from the battery. I've pulled the boot back. I don't know if you can see down the side of the engine, so it's quite a tight, big diesel engine. Uh, there's just a little hex nut there that I'm going to be putting the red lead onto in a second. Uh, so this is the supply voltage test. So all I'm doing with this test is making sure the wiring between the battery, through the ignition system and all the fuses, everything up to the alternator is correct and performing right. So it should be as close to battery voltage as possible. Uh, a drop more than 0.4 of a volt is going to be considered an issue. So yeah, I'm going to put the red lead on the hex nut on there and I'm going to put the black lead here against a body earth. Any body earth will do, the engine's earth to the chassis. So I've just cleaned up a little one over here just uh, as it's easy to access. So I'm going to pop that on there and hopefully you guys can see the, the reading. There we go. And I'm going to do just what I said. So. I'm going to put the red lead onto the hex nut. It's quite hard to do on, on my own, like so. And then I'm going to put the black lead on the body earth that I've shown you. So it's climbing up 12.73 volts. Hopefully you can see that because I can see the camera's slightly off. So 12.73 supply voltage. Well, 72. So basically I'm losing no voltage between the battery and the positive side, the in input side of the alternator, because the, the alternator does need some voltage to run on startup. So I'm going to leave the red, red wire where, I, where it was before, on the hex nut again, on the positive side of the alternator. But now I'm going to move the black lead to the alternator casing. So down here at the side, where you can see that grill section just around here, down here, that's the alternator casing. So if I put the red lead on the positive side, and the black lead on the casing, that's actually going to test the internal condition of the alternator and how much voltage is being lost between the input and the output side of the alternator electrical uh, circuit. So just put the lead back on the hex nut and I'm putting the black lead onto the casing and it's showing point 0.1 of a volt or thereabouts. Again, 0.4 is the maximum, so that's telling me the internal condition of the alternator is pretty good. All the bushes uh, and contacts inside there are quite quite good still, so I'm not losing voltage across the alternator. So if I did have a problem, I could rule out the alternator with this voltage drop test. The final test I'm going to do then is to do the regulated voltage test, which is me just checking the output on the on the battery. So. When a car's obviously sat idle, it's around about 12.6 volts at the battery, as I've shown you before. Uh, when the car's running, it has to refill the battery and have that battery at 12.6 volts or thereabouts for whenever you turn the car off. It also has to run all the, all the electrical systems in the car. So a regulated voltage when the alternator is doing its job, it will have a higher voltage than the battery voltage at rest. So ideally you're looking between 13.5 and 14.5 volts, depending on how many electrical systems there are on the car to run and how hard it's having to work. So I'm gonna pop you guys down there. I'm gonna put the, old, the multimeter there. Put it up here, in fact. I'm gonna put the positive lead into here. Again, and the negative lead into here. And you can see you've got a voltage there of 12.72. So I'm just gonna jump in and start the car. And then we will see what voltage we're getting. Just trying to set up this little tripod there. Okay, so we're going to start the battery. Uh, let's start the car, sorry, and we'll see what uh, voltage we've got regulated.
as you can see with the car running we've got it's climbing about 14 volts so far so if that was anything under 13 and a half i'd have concern, concerns about the charging system uh, because it's in the 14s it's reacting to the amount of load being put onto it i'm quite happy that alternator is functioning correctly so again just to remind you check the battery voltage then find the positive nut with the big fat cable coming from the battery uh, check that one um, check it against a common ground then check it against the negative side or the casing of the alternator to check the inner workings of the alternator and then the regulated voltage just check how much voltage it's allowing to go back to the battery uh, once the engine's running I hope that makes sense and I'll see you on the next one.